All right, so we're gonna put her in spin and I want you to see what's going on. You can hear the motor. All right, guys, so to remove the front cover, you will have two screws, they're 5 sixteenths. Remove those, then you grab the bottom of the machine, the panel, and you're gonna lift, you're just pulling the front up. I'm using one hand, so. And as you go up, this whole piece will just come over down. Grab it again. And that's it. Panel is off. You have access to the machine. Yep, you can see how the belt has eaten up. So we're gonna need a new belt on this unit. I should have one, so we'll get one installed on this. Yep, I'm sure, oh yeah, that belt is, belt is tore up, see that? So you, your machine will still drain because the pump is connected to the motor, so the motor is spinning, but the motor is not able to turn the drum, well, because the belt is not there. Now guys, I just wanted to do a quick tidbit of info on these machines. You see those massive springs? Uh, I think you also have a snubber ring, I think. And that keeps the machine stabilized. Those massive springs are pulling down on the drum. Stabilization. So, excellent machine. Look at the drum, it's heavy. Everything about it is just heavy. Big motor. Anyways, sweet machine. All right, guys. As you can see, the belt is totally off. In fact, the belt is sitting right down here. There's a belt. Now you can learn a lot from when a belt is damaged and what caused the issue. This belt looks like it was being rubbed and eventually snapped. And a lot of times that could be a combination either the washer was overloaded or the brake got stuck and the motor was turning and the drum wasn't so the pulley was basically standing still but based on how yes it definitely looks that way so the motor is turning so we're going to turn the pulley by hand Okay, you can see it's turning. So I think the belt just wore out. All right, so to remove this pump, you're gonna have a clip there and you're gonna have one there at the bottom. So two clips. I didn't show it, so let me show you real quick how it comes off. You do have another one there, so total of three. And you push down to put it on. And the same way of getting it off. Okay. And to get it off, you push down on the center and it pretty much pulls it out. And you just pry up. Good. And then you have one there. That's gonna be your third clip. And this one should come off pretty good. Sometimes you gotta press down. Again, you do. Use my other hand here. So you push in the center. 
you pull this clip and it should come right out. There we go. So on one hand, you can do it. And then the pump should be free. Wiggle it out, move it out the way. Now keep in mind, okay? Once the pump and you put the, the belt on, you'll have to get the belt back in there over the motor. So keep that in mind. All right. All right, so you can just twist this out the way. It should be fine. Um, just don't twist too hard. You don't want to damage anything. Now, we have a shredded belt. Okay, you want to clean all the crap off. You don't want to put your new belt back on. Um, sometimes you got to change this idler. If yours is not good, sometimes the spring is worn out. The spring is fairly new. Everything in this machine is still good. It looks like it was just an overload of condition. You can overload these things, believe it or not. But the good thing with these machines, when you overload them, usually they replace the belt. Um, they're pretty, they're pretty tough machines. Um, you end up eating the belt up. Transmission on these, uh, you know, good 10, 12, 13, 14, depends on the use, maybe 15, 20 years, I've seen them. So they're just hardy, hardy machines, I tell you. So, all right, so this tensioner, okay, you see that how moves. So we're gonna get the belt around the motor and this is gonna be our pusher on the belt. All right, so there's the pulley idler. And the back of the belt is gonna ride along the idler, okay? Now, if you can get the belt over the motor, now it's on the motor, and it's on the Okay, I'm gonna give you a good view here. So there's the belt, and it's around the idler. Now what we're gonna do, as we try to get it on the motor, on the pulley, it's gonna push this pulley idler up. Okay, and that's how the belt is tensioned. So I need to go on the other side feed it hopefully it stays Once you get a portion of the belt in, you can actually rotate it. And it'll just pull it on. So here we are, we're rotating it. Okay. Here's an angle. All right. So now, I'm gonna make sure it's tight. Make sure the belt is on all the way. You can just rotate it manually. 
That looks good. Now it's time to put the pump back on. Now you're going to have to push this pump in this way. You'll clear the belt. And you're going to get this shaft right there on that pump. Okay, you're going to have to bend or twist this belt to get it past the motor. Just push it up a little bit. There you go. Okay, and now you have those holes. One there, one there. Now, if you did, which you probably did, the motor was rotated, so there's a good chance now that the shaft and the pump may not line up. So just rotate slowly until it drops in. If it gets tight one way, you can just turn another way. And as you keep moving, just keep pushing, trying to get the pump. Make sure the holes are lined up, otherwise you're not gonna be getting that pump on. I think we just slipped on, it's beautiful. So now, we're gonna have one clip there. See the hole for the clip? And one here. A little tad bit of history back in when these were Maytags, uh, MIGTAG, they used to have a screw that would attach to the motor. Made it a lot harder to change these pumps because you had to pretty much either pull the motor to even change the belt because the screw sometimes would be very hard to get to. So I love the clip, it's a good idea. So I'll just show you how to put one on and then the other, one, the other ones will be pretty much the same way. It requires a little more patience because it's angled. And that's that. And the other one's right there. And the other one is right there as well. So, all right. Next step is gonna be putting her into spin and seeing this beautiful machine spinning. All right, so we're gonna put her into spin. We should still be on spin. Yep, there it is. So let's we'll take a look. Excellently ridiculous. Thanks for watching.